Hi there. Now, I'm often asked, what do we mean by this function here, ncr? It tends to crop up a lot in the binomial distribution, or in permutations and combinations, or in statistics, the binomial distribution. And you'll often see this function, ncr, on many scientific calculators. On this particular calculator, it's just above the division sign here. So, what do we mean by NCR? Well, NCR, and you can see it written, by the way, in other forms, sometimes like this, okay, N and then R. Although, this tends to be used for vectors, but as I say, you can quite often see it used as an alternative notation to this. NCR means n factorial divided by n minus r factorial multiplied by r factorial. And when we talk about factorials, okay, let's just come down here. When we talk about factorials, if I had, say, 4 factorial, it's short for 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 3 factorial would be 3 times 2 times 1, and so on. So, if I had, say, 5C2, which could be written as 5 and 2, like this, it's going to mean, by the formula, 5 factorial, as n is the 5, all divided by n minus r factorial, so r is the 2, so we're going to have 5 minus 2 factorial, and that's multiplied by r factorial, in this case, 2 factorial. And 5 factorial then is going to be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and this is all divided by 5 take away 2, which is 3, 3 factorial, that's going to be 3 times 2 times 1. And this is going to be multiplied by 2 factorial, 2 times 1. Now to save time, we could cancel some of this out. We could cancel, for instance, 3 times 2 times 1 with this 3 times 2 times 1. And that gives us 5 times 4, which is 20, divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. 20 divided by 2, well, that's going to be 10. And we can check this out on our calculator here, 5C2. For this calculator, and for many others, you would enter the n value first of all. So we'll enter 5, press the function, and for this calculator, we've got to use the shift key and then the division here, which gives us NCR. So we can see the C appears. It's waiting for R, so we just enter 2 here. Pressing equals gives us 10. OK, as we got here. So if you've got harder ones, OK, where you don't want to resort to this method, obviously just use the calculator. But it helps to know how this answer is formed. So I hope that's been of some use to you, and uh, there you go, the NCR function.